Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about multi step inequalities. We're going to solve each inequality and graph its solution. So if I was given this inequality, negative 5n plus 6 is greater than or equal to negative 7 times 5n minus 6 minus 6n. Okay? It's a little shifted to the right there. All right. So my first step is I'm going to distribute that negative 7. So let's rewrite this over here. Negative 5n plus 6 is greater than distribute negative 7 times 5n is negative 35n. And negative 7 times a negative 6, which is positive, right, plus a negative 6, is a positive 42. And then that's minus 6n on the right. So now let's combine our like terms on each side. So we have negative 5n plus 6. I'm going to leave that by itself because there's nothing to combine there. And then negative 35n minus 6n, we combine them together, and that becomes a negative 41n plus 42. Okay? So now let's bring our like terms together. So I'm going to add a 41n to both sides, right here, plus 41n. And I'm going to subtract a 6 to both sides. Let's do both at the same time here. Bring my n's to the left, my numbers to the right. Well, positive 41n, or in the minus 5n, or negative 5n plus 41n, comes out to be at 36, 36 n, positive 36. That's greater than or equal to, and then negative 6, uh, 42 minus uh, 6, 42 minus 6 comes out to be a 36, okay? So now we have 36 n is greater than or equal to 36. I divide by 36 to both sides, leaving me with n by itself on the left, and it's greater than or equal to 36 divided by 36, which is 1. So now we have n isolated. I can graph it, okay? So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, okay? Well, if n is greater than or equal to 1, I have a closed circle at 1 because it can equal that 1, and then I put my arrow to the right because we said n is greater than that as well. And so now we have a graph here that matches our final answer, which is n is greater than or equal to 1. So let's recap. We have negative 5n plus 6 is greater than or equal to negative 7 parentheses, 5n minus 6, n parentheses, minus 6n. I distributed the negative 7 across to give me negative 35n plus 42, and then just brought down the minus 6n. I then combined my um, like terms on each side, so negative 35n minus 6n is a negative 41n. I then added that 41n to both sides, and then brought this 6 over to, uh, to the right, so the negative 6 over. That canceled out the negative 6s here and then cancel out the 41s there. I'm giving me my like terms on each side, my n's on the left, and my number's on the right. Negative 5n plus 41n is a 36n, and 42 minus 6 is also a 36, okay? Well, I have a 36n here, it's a multiplication, so I divide it by 36 both sides, giving me n by itself on the left, and 36 divided by 36 is 1 on the right, so now we have n is greater than or equal to 1. So now I need to graph it. It's a closed circle at 1 because n can equal 1. And then I put my arrow to the right again because n is greater than that 1 also. So we have our graph here that matches our final answer, which is n is greater than or equal to 1.